Again, these are coastal bottlenose dolphins right in right outside the harbor. This is Dana Point. As you can see in the distance, that's the actual physical feature of Dana Point. What's gonna happen if we get a whale that's close to shore, we'll go up the coastline. We might find them coming back. So those are coastal bottlenose dolphins. Coastal bottlenose, and they're very different than the offshore. There's two different populations, coastal bottlenose and offshore bottlenose. So these are the type of dolphin you typically see in captivity. They can be up to 12 feet long, by 1,200 pounds, but the inshore or the coastal bottlenose never intermix with the offshore bottlenose. These guys stay separate from each other, they have very separate lives. Although they are genetically identical, their way of living is very different. They eat different foods. The offshore bottlenose never come in close, and the coastal bottlenose never go out to the deep. All right, we were notified by another boat that there's a little gray whale right in the surf line here. We can't get a whole lot closer to it because of this reef that's right in front of us. You guys see that octagon house? So we're inside. waiting for this little guy to come up. He's done this before though. So it's there he is. You see those white barnacles on it. It's not a baby whale. Yeah, it's not, like it's not a youngster. It's not as young as we thought. It's quite, quite a few barnacles on it. Yeah. yeah. by in front of us. Again, this is a gray whale migrating from north of Alaska. The Chukchi Sea could even be coming from as far away as Russia. And they come down the west coast all the way down to the Baja Peninsula in, in three or four little lagoons in Baja on the Pacific coast where they mate, give birth, and begin to raise their young. This whale is cruising by us right now. It's and I'm not going to be very far away. There he is, coming right to us. There he is. Now this might be a male, because males are smaller. Hey, Captain Tom said, I don't know if you can hear him, but this could be a male, because the males are much smaller than the females. Easily 10% 10, 10 smaller than what the females can be. Females are much larger, so they can carry their calves and give birth to those calves. The calves can be born at eight, 10 feet long. So the females need to be a little bit bigger. Here he is right here. Nice rain blow. Quick now, he knows where he's going more or less. You can see the footprints coming out of the water, those are made by the powerful tail. Did you just know that whales have footprints? But look at the spot we're at here. This is Laguna Beach. What a beautiful location! Beautiful day in Southern California. It's gonna be out in front of us, but it's close. Another bubble blast. Another bubble blast. He's going down to look for food. He's trying to find something to eat. Well, guess what, buddy? There's nothing down here for gray whales to eat. All their food is found up north of uh, the 
Washington, Oregon, Yeah, going down and digging up some mud, trying to look for food. But there isn't any food in this, in our waters for them to eat. They actually eat. They haven't had anything to eat since around Oregon. And there isn't any food for them until they get all the way back to Oregon after being down in Mexico. Another bubble blast. typical of what we see on the southern migration of the gray whales, much farther out to sea. It's about a thousand feet of water, not the eight to ten feet that the one that was playing in the surf. Just barely see her. Here she comes, coming up right now. There she is. Much larger whale than we saw, close to the surf. Still see her just barely underwater here. In California gray whale. Well. barely see her underwater here. The you know, light's not the best. A little bit lighter blue. Okay, coming the water here it comes. Real, she's coming right real close to us. And it's moving right towards us. About 20 yards away. Captain's got out of gear. This whale keeps coming closer to us. Here she comes.
very well. Move it. Look at there. There's big, big arch. Oh, my good tail. Yes. Big white tail. Oh, nice big tail. Oh, cool. Let's consider that a wave goodbye from this California. California sea lions. Got one in the water, big male in the water waving at us. There's one way we know that they're California sea lions, because sea lions bark and seals don't. So if you hear that barking, you know they're sea lions. Also, sea lions can get up onto this buoy. Seals can't. Sea lions have rotating back hips that allow them to climb up on there. See that one down in the front there with the orange tag on his? That's a male. I know that's a male because that one was uh, saved by the Pacific Marine Mammal Center and tagged on its left flipper. They get tagged on the left, they're males. If they're tagged on the right, they're females. There's the big male in the water. Males can be 750 pounds, females 250 pounds when they're fully grown. California sea lions. Check it out. 